Welcome back to my Minecraft Let's Play. When we left off, I had gone to the Never. No, I hadn't. That was a lie. That was the episode before. In the last ep... No, wait. Oh, did I? Yes, I did. Because I went there and got glowstone. Never mind. I did go to the Never. That wasn't a lie. Saying it was a lie was a lie. I'm just confused myself. Anyway, any enough about that. Because I'm going to just be dribbling in a minute from confusion. <laughs> uh, Yeah. In this episode, I am going to go back to the Never because I want to see if there are any... Um, there we go. Sorry, I wasn't moving there because I had to quickly put the timer on my phone. Um, yeah, I'm going to go back to the Never and see if there's any Never Fortresses like near the sort of start, like near where the portal is, so that I can maybe get some, you know, blaze rods and then make that into uh, blaze powder and make some ender eyes because I do want to go to the end. That is the one thing I have never done. Well, there's a lot of things in this Let's Play that I've never done, to be honest, but that's the one thing that I've wanted to do. And I've never done on this version or the Xbox version, so I've never actually been to the end. I've never actually even found a portal. Well, I have an Xbox, but in creative mode, this isn't the right way. I made a little custom tunnel. I do apologise for the lag in the Never, but there's not really much I could do about it. Oh, here's the tunnel. Well, I suppose you could just get a new computer that's even more powerful, but they're not really cheap, to be honest. So. You know, feel free to donate, you know, like two grand to me if you want me to have a better computer for videos. That's up to you, isn't it? But uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure no one's going to do that, so you'll just have to put up with this for now. Unless I all of a sudden become huge on YouTube, and even though I won't get money because I'm not 18, but <laughs> I don't know. Um, right, I'm going to go over that way. I'm going to go see if there's anything over there. So, let me just put this here. Oh crap! Oh god! Okay, well, maybe not. Oh, look at that. Pro dodging skill just jumped into a hole. Right, I'm gonna get this one here. Oh god, I've brought my diamond pickaxe. Crap. You know what? Actually, I'm gonna go back because I'm gonna get this and then go back because I don't really want to be having my diamond pickaxe down here. Because that is not a good idea, really, let's be honest. Um, I've changed my mind about what I'm going to do with the uh, daylight detectors as well. I'm going to use, I'm not going to use it how I said I was originally, I'm going to use it now uh, for basically like any rooms that are like inside in the little cave bit for lighting. I'm going to do it so the daylight detectors go outside. And um, now, you know what? I'm not going to do the daylight detector thing, I'm just going to have it so redstone lamps are lighting it up. I don't really need to do anything to do anything else. Where did that come from? I can't even see it. Anyway, I'm going back because I don't want to lose my diamond pickaxe. I'm just going to go do the wiring instead. This isn't where the tunnel is. Come on, where is it? Uh, is that it? Yes, it is. Run! Run away! Oh. I feel like I need to play this in a safer place because I've just just literally about five seconds well not five seconds because this video has been longer than five seconds but before this video I, re I recorded a horror game so a little bit jumpy right now I don't really think never with gas shooting fireballs at me is the best thing to be around right now so let's go back to the happy overworld with sheep and more sheep and more sheep and a few more sheep and sheep everywhere and the occasional chicken and the non-existent cows. Anyway, I have a lot of wolves. Where's the other? I had more than this. I made them two and them two have one each, but there's only one here. Where's the other one? Oh, he's there. Sit down. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna sort out this redstone even though I don't actually have anything. Oh, you know what? I'm going to make the new redstone blocks. I haven't made them yet. I want to see what they're like. Block of redstone. Look at that. That's probably very useful because I don't think you've ever before been able to move redstone with a piston. But now because of this block you can. So I'm sure a lot of people out there are very happy about the redstone block. But you know what? Instead of torches 
Wait, how many? Oh, wait a minute, I haven't even got the redstone lamps on me. Uh, where are they? There they are. Instead of whoa, whoa, stop lagging. Okay. Instead of these torches, <coughs> actually no, you know what? I'm gonna leave them as torches for now. I wanna. Oh, this room's not done. I forgot to do it because of all the stupid gravel. Oh, for God's sake. Uh, you know what? We'll just put the redstone lamps in here. We're we'll just gonna put that there. There you go. That is that is much simpler than that would have been. Before, well, no, it's not because you just would have put a redstone torch there instead. So, actually, yeah, that's a good point. I am kind of wasting these redstone blocks. I probably shouldn't. <laughs> All I have to do is put a redstone torch there instead of a redstone block, which is one much less expensive because it's a stick and a piece of redstone, and two, I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> redstone torches probably be a better option because it uses one piece of redstone and one torch uh, and one stick. Rather than nine redstone, is it nine? Oh, wait, yeah, it is. Um, I might get some floor lighting going on. I oh, actually know because the bookshelves are going to be there. What about if I put it in the ceiling? See, that's when that is where redstone blocks come in handy. If I don't in the ceiling, because it wouldn't be dodgy. You know, I'm going to do it in the ceiling because I I've got these now, so I want to use them. Now I need to just find the middle. So if we're that's the middle there. But then wait, let me just mark that. Uh that's the middle that side. Oh I've got it right in the middle. Go me. Right. <laughs> so if I just put, do that. See uh, this is what redstone blocks are useful for because before you would have had to put like a a lever like on the actual lamp itself and it would look stupid but now or you would have had to do some crazy wiring that goes down and I don't know I don't really know how you would have done it before but it would have been noticeable but now because of redstone blocks you just put one above and then put that below it if I get rid of these torches will that light the whole room I don't really think it will but oh it actually does quite well oh wait there's a torch here one sec <laughs> let me get rid of that that actually lights the room fairly well let me get rid of it and see how much difference it makes. Wow, that that actually <laughs> lights the room very well, like more than I thought it would. Oh well, that's pretty good because then I could just have one redstone lamp in each place, except for here because if I dig through this, it goes out to the ceiling. So, uh, ceiling, it goes out to nothing. So that one might be a bit of a problem. I might just leave this one as torches. It could be the old little. It's going to be like a trick, you'll be like, oh, look at this crappy little house, and you walk in, oh, look, it's torches, and you go inside, and it'll just be like a massive underground, connect, like, maze of rooms, well, it won't be a maze, but, well, I suppose it could be a maze if someone else played it, and they didn't know where that was going. Anyway, I'm just rambling on about random crap now, so I need to actually get on and do something. Uh, what was I going to do? Right, well, the, the looking for a never fortress idea is out of the question right now, because I don't. I don't know, I just, I don't really want to go do that right now. Uh, what I'll probably do is, I'll probably, like, uh, do what I've done before, like, recreate this world, like, du duplicate this world, but change it to creative mode, and then I can go to the nether, like, build the nether portal in the exact same place, and then go to the nether, fly around and see if I can f find, uh, find the fortress, and then obviously mark down the coordinates, and then go and find it on survival in the let's play. But that does take a while to do, especially if it's far away. So I am hoping there'll be one right near it. But as I say, I will find it. Well, I will try to find a Never Fortress off screen so I can go there, get some Never Waltz for brewing, get some Blaze Rods also for brewing, and for the Ender Eyes and stuff. So, yeah. Uh, I also still need to find cows because I haven't found any yet. Oh, no, wait, I found a few, but they didn't really drop a lot of leather. It's one piece of leather per book, three books per bookshelf, and I need about, I don't know, like 25 bookshelves, so probably going to have to kill a lot of cows, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get a few of them back to me, if I can. You know what, I want to go mining, see if I can find a dungeon anywhere, but 
My mine up down at bedrock, there's not really going to be any dungeon down at bedrock. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to halfway down my mine and then dig sideways. Maybe a bit more than halfway, but I'm going to go like halfway down and then dig out to the side. Uh, and then sort of branch off from there, see if I can find a dungeon. Like basically, what I've done at the bottom where it goes forwards and there's hallways on either side that go really far out, like tunnels either side. I'm going to do that, but higher up basically. I'm going to tunnel off to the right, I'm going to go. Oh well, I'll do right and left actually. I'll do it, I'd say here. So if I go this way, and then what I'll do is... I'll make this into sort of the same sort of thing that's going on at the bottom, like with the it's like a big room with loads of tunnels either side. I'll do that either side of these. And I wanna find like some dungeons and stuff, because I, I haven't actually ever found a dungeon either, that's another thing I've never done. It's like I have done all them episodes and I never once found a dungeon whilst digging. It's like I don't oh, I think I've done this a bit much. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh wait, no, it's nine. Oh, leg. Like one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, it's only one more. It's fine. Okay, uh, I didn't bring any torches, which is kind of stupid of me, because stuff is going to spawn. Uh, you know, halfway down, there's one, two, three, four, five, so here. I'm going to dig two either side. And then dig all this out, and then I'm going to start doing it. Going, going either. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Fill that in. Yeah, go either side of it because I do want to find a dungeon. Hopefully, I'm I'm at, I'm really hoping that I will find the one of the strongholds where like the ender portal is because then I'll know where it is. And instead of getting end like eye of enders and then using them to try and find it, I can sort of like just I'll know where it is and then I'll know I've just got to get nine eye of enders. And then once I've got nine, I can just go to where the end portal is, put them in, and go to the end, rather than having to get like 30 eye vendors because I have to use like half of them trying to find the portal in the first place. So hopefully I'll run into a stronghold. I'm really hoping I will, but I don't think they're actually that common. So I think there's like only one in each world. So one in each world is obviously not common at all. So I don't know. Maybe we'll find one. Maybe not. I do. I don't know. Hopefully we will because that will be the first time ever that I've found one so I was about to say something really stupid I was about to say oh I better not dig this way because I'll dig out back to the entrance of the mine no I won't because <laughs> it's deep underground I'm such an idiot uh, I just realized I'm level 20 again how am I leveling up so much it must be all like the stuff that I'm mining and all the fighting that I'm doing because I'm already level 20 again Right, now it's lagging a little bit. I'd... See, that that could either be a good sign or a bad sign, because lag sort of indicates that something is being generated. So, obviously, lag's annoying, so that's the bad part. But, oh, I can hear a bat. That means there's a cave somewhere. But, yeah, lag could be annoying, because, obviously, it, well, it was lag, but sometimes on Minecraft, it can mean there's something loading near you. So, it could be a dungeon's just been loaded, or, by the sounds of it, a cave has just been loaded, or... Stronghold if I'm lucky. Just realised I'm sort of out of time. Sorry about this last bit, it's just been kind of loads of digging, but I have been talking quite a lot, so hopefully I've kept you entertained or at least, you know, awake. Hopefully you didn't fall asleep whilst watching this. I wouldn't blame you if you did, to be honest. <laughs> but, uh, I appreciate the. the why did that. T oh! Jesus Christ, that made me jump. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Doesn't that only happen? Aren't silverfish only around in strongholds? I swear they are. I'm, I think that means there's a stronghold nearby, you know? Oh god, I mean, all excited now. I'm pretty sure silverfish only ever spawn in. Uh. Oh, I just completely forgot what they are. I'm all excited. Yeah, I'm pretty sure silverfish only spawn. Look, there's another one. Go away! Scary. They make horrible noise. 
But I'm going to have to end it here. But I'm pretty sure there's a done. Uh, oh, I can't remember what they're called. Stronghold. That's it. Just remembered. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a stronghold nearby because I'm about 85% sure that silverfish can only spawn like near and around a stronghold. So if silverfish can only spawn near and around a stronghold, then that means there's either a stronghold right above me or somewhere around the area. Or I could just be an idiot and think that silverfish only spawn near strongholds. And they just don't, they're just random. But anyway, hopefully silverfish are a good sign because I'm pretty sure they only spawn in strongholds or near them. So hopefully there is a stronghold nearby. But uh, I am going to have to leave it here for today because I'm out of time. So if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button. And maybe even the favourite button if you enjoyed it even more. And if you really want to help me out and help the channel grow, then I'd appreciate it so much if you could share this video or any of my other videos for the, for uh, saying that. I don't, yeah, that didn't really make sense. But you know what I mean. <laughs> any of my videos, if you could share this one or any of them, I'd appreciate it either way so much because it helps me and it helps the channel grow and i'm rambling on and this video is going to end up being too long so i am going to have to end it right now so yeah i've said all that stuff that i, that I always say and so as always i'll see you in the next video and goodbye